uh, I thought it might be a, a good idea if I talked a little bit about how uh, this very particular group of ceramic works came about. Um, and there are, there are sort of two dimensions to that. Um, one of which is a sort of history of accidents, like they always are. Uh, and the other, which is a more kind of philosophical question and about uh, um, where we are in the world and, uh, and how we live and what we uh, and what we perceive um so just to start with the f first uh, i've been working for a while on things which are flat um i've been interested in glazing uh, and the ways that gravity kind of pulls glaze down the surface of the vertical surfaces of uh, uh of ceramics uh and then at some point I wanted to make some bases for something but the clay doesn't really like being flat uh, so um, uh, to make the surface flat we polished it uh, we ground off the surface and then the, the um, bits of um, dry clay in the mix uh, the grog uh, get kind of polished so you get a surface like a terrazzo surface and at uh, and at that point, I thought, oh, it's the horizontal surface that was interesting. And, uh, uh, and that it would be very interesting to kind of explore uh, a horizontal surface. And when you're glazing a horizontal surface, the glaze isn't flowing anymore. It's sort of puddling on the surface and, move, and uh, uh, it's just a kind of liquid on the surface when it's firing. Um, so you get a very different glaze effect. And, and uh, the progression of the way that I've... Uh, uh, worked on these has explored that kind of uh, uh, fusion that happens on melting fusion that happens on the surface, um, uh, and, and then the question of shape became uh, 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 became interesting. And I'm also it was also kind of exploring different clays and the relationship between uh, the clay edge, um, whether it was a white clay or a red clay or a black clay, uh, and this uh, flat surface on the top. The conversation between the two. And then the uh, 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 the most recent ones I've made, have, uh, uh, they've kind of gravitated off the floor. Um, somehow they then started to gravitate up towards being a vertical thing rather than a, uh, a flat thing. So uh, um, talking about surface uh, uh, and things being on the surface has both, uh, to me, has uh, quite big existential uh, implications, but it also um, can deal with deals with truth uh, and falsehoods. You know what's on the surface and uh, uh, and what isn't. So uh, and uh, the ways in which we negotiate the world. You know the uh, what is it we see? We see uh, we see only surfaces. Um, and so that uh, I think the uh, when I start when I ground that piece of um, clay uh, to flatten the top uh, and the and I said oh that's what it's about it's about the surface uh, that was the that was those thoughts kind of clicking in uh, that uh, I would um, uh, that what I was interested in exploring is um, admittedly within a, a bounded area but the possibilities that that um, that, that surface revealed